something <laughs> happened on the internet like last week or something that I think quite perfectly bridges the two of our communities quite well. This guy Sketch, I saw it. Do you know who he is? Sketch, yeah. Who's like a Twitch streamer. What's up, brother? And then videos got leaked of him getting like absolutely railed. I didn't see the videos. But oh I my god, I did. Yeah. So this is where our communities bridge because I have seen so many people on the internet be like guys, you know what? I've never thought about it like this, but like maybe gay people shouldn't be like murdered and maybe, just maybe they deserve rights to live. I don't know. I just feel bad on sketch. And I was like, half of me was like, so it's taken teenage boys, like Twitch streamer obsession to like be like outed as gay in like a really public and horrific way, by the way, but yeah. still outed as gay for them to finally be like, <clears throat> what? Like, Oh my god! So these people are just like normal people, yeah. like like you and I, which is great. I think that it's it's great that that's happened. The bit that I didn't understand off the back of that was number one. Obviously, he was getting loads of hate, which you can like isn't understandable, but is understandable just in the realm in the, of the internet in, that in, he's yeah, on. What the world is, yeah. yeah. Um, but it was the everybody felt the need to, and I can understand if you like no sketch and you're like mm. sort of publicly being like like got your back man like don't worry about it like be a but so many people like just be like i'm okay with this by the way and it's like what well, yeah of course you are what was what, what that i know mean? but i think because it's such a topic of and you have to realize that like a lot of it would be like if one of the side men got outed as gay like they would all but feel, I would feel the need to just be like but if everyone oh, was by the if, way so and so but I if, stand with you, brother. Of course, but if a if a bunch of their fans that are also in turn your fans because you're associated with them were hating on that person and like KSI did a statement saying like, I feel as though it's fine and then the rest of them followed, you would ultimately probably post something similar. You would. I don't know. You so would. I think it's... Because it would just be, it would just it be the way that the internet works in this day and age is that silence is you like agreeing with something. Yeah, so but like, if you were to speak on it, then people would assume that you had an issue with it. I don't which like would to, be ridiculous. I, which, which is stupid. Of course it is. Yeah, because I see it as then being performative. Yeah, performative. I don't yeah. like it. I, I wouldn't. I don't know. But sometimes I feel like if, unless it's like directly applicable and people being like, "What the fuck are you saying about it?" Like I don't yeah. feel like I need to. But I think sometimes whilst things can be performative it's also just nice to let people know where you stand on issues if you get what i mean like yeah. i don't think there's ever whilst it's like it could be seen as like you're just doing it to involve yourself in the situation i think yes on on one hand but half of it is also just to let your followers know that anybody who is of that group that are sending hate towards said person for whatever reason that you disagree with that notion, if you get what I mean. Yeah, I do get you, but I, I don't know. I think it's just there's so, there's so many different ways to do to like go about that s sort of stuff. The internet, and every time there's like a, you're like I'm gonna do this because of that. Yeah. Then it, it's like how what level do you go down to until you're like right that amount of people I'm okay not to post something for because like you're always gonna have somebody being angry at you for something. So I'm just like I. Yeah. I get what you mean. Because then as soon as you say something about something, then everyone's like, yeah, but what about this then? And what about this then? And what about this then? Like, you didn't say anything when this happened or this happened. So I'm I like, know, like if, I just, if I just portray how I am on the internet as much as I feel like I possibly can in like a natural scenario, then mm -hmm. if, if people like know me, then they'll be like, well, obviously he's not going to be up for that. I mean, you'd like to think so, but people often don't form their own opinions. Yeah, so it's that People group don't independently think. They, yeah. they just think... Like so one person could tweet, has anybody else seen that George Clark hasn't spoken up about the fact that Max got punched in the face? Something, I don't know. Yeah. And then people be like, oh, this is interesting. Why has he not spoke out? George Clark must have been involved in the punching of Max in the face or something. Like people are stupid. Yeah, so but in that scenario, you have to kind of, I'd be happy for, because as I said, in loads of Well, there'd be a video of you punching me in the face on that would eventually come out. Yeah. So that would get leaked but anyway. In that scenario, when there's, as I said, there's like, you're going to have people upset or like asking for things no matter what. I'd happily have the stupid ones who just assume something be the ones that I'm upsetting over the... Over but other things, so it's just... okay. It's easy to say that until it happens to you. You've not been involved in many incidents where people have been like, 
oh, like, I can't believe George is doing this. You know what I mean? Whereas, like, when you feel that injustice, I've had it about me where, like, people have been like, Max has not done this about this. And it's like, oh, we must agree with this, this, and this. And it makes you sit there and you're like, my God, even if it's just 10 people, you're like, oh, my God, I do not want 10 yeah, people to I think, think that, that I believe that, if you get what I mean. Yeah, that's then a different scenario, though, because then it's specifically about you. Hmm? If it's specifically about you being like Max thinks this Max thinks that yeah. Max thinks this. that's but the, on like an issue on like a separate issue I mean I mean I've, I had nothing coming my way nobody, obviously nobody's being like as, as I said it's nothing to do with me was the idea where I was saying. I'm confused but I think we're saying the same thing yeah I think it's Maybe. I, th I, I think I it's know. just there's not a there's not a, a right or a wrong way to go about things I think a lot of people uh, well not, not a lot uh, there's, there's, there's a fair amount of people that see as you say not saying something as complicit as meaning something else yeah but also like you know it's just i think it's literally just the person it's just a personal thing on how people want to react yeah, to certain situations i get it and i think sometimes if you're if you're not impassioned by something then you wouldn't feel that like urge to do something and that's sometimes fine if you get what I mean the way I look at it is I, I think whenever someone comes to my account it's because my aim is to try and just make someone happy and just like just to try and entertain mm -hmm. so like I'd rather just do that and that be my role on the internet and then just I deal with whatever I want in my private life and not yeah. have to post about it then like because if something, for example, if the sketch situation happened to like a friend of mine or something, obviously I'd be messaging him in private. And then it would feel that's why when it would feel weird to post something. But that's just again, it's just I, don't, I think it's just personal. Preference. I get what you mean. It's 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 we have a unique perspective from it because everybody listening to this will probably be like, or not everybody, but like a, a big group of people listening to this will be like but you have an obligation as like somebody with a platform to speak out on certain issues which on one hand i agree with if it's like a, a relevant thing to you or if it's something that you personally are passionate about but then on the other hand i think since when did we make content creators like our teachers and like politicians like yeah. when did, when did we expect them to have the same level of knowledge and understanding and like empathy as like literal world leaders and like hold them to the same standards and stuff like that and if there is something that you feel passionate about and you want to share it like for example when i did the fundraiser last year the trans rights fundraiser off the back of that i literally as soon as we finished that i had so many people messaging me why are you not speaking out about this when you're doing a fundraiser about this then what's going on and it's like so yeah i just did this one like really great thing that was a success and now you're telling me that i'm not good enough because i haven't done it 10 times over mm -hmm. Like it's it's quite an interesting thought process, and again, <clears throat> it's it's just a it's, it's just stupid. Again, it's just, it's just stupid. a case of just a case of there always being people that are unhappy. So yeah, which is why I'm like, I'll just do it the way I want it then because yeah. the person whose account it is is mine. 